Ontario is the most popular province across Canada. Half of the population who move or immigrate to Canada move to Ontario. And there are various logical uh, and beneficial reasons to it. In this video, we will talk about the general comparison between living in Ontario and living in New Brunswick. Hello everyone, this is Ricey and this is Quest Canada. Canada's population in 2022 is 38 million. Ontario's population is 15 million. Compare that to the population of New Brunswick, which is 800,000, less than a million people. Now, population and growth of population uh, has got its pros and cons. Of course, the higher or the bigger the population of a certain city or a certain province is, the more economic growth and stability and the velocity of money is faster as compared to a province that has got less population such as New Brunswick. But there are also a positive or good um, uh, benefits to living in a province that has got less population. Vegetation is one thing. General lifestyle is another thing. You do not necessarily chase your tail all the time, being busy, paying bills. And those are just a few uh, common um, uh, reasons or benefits of, of living in a fast-paced community as compared to uh, a lesser a stressful community, community such as New Brunswick. Now, let us go deeper into the reasons of the pros and cons or comparison of living between Ontario and New Brunswick. If you are an international student watching, listen to this. Last year, 621,000 international students moved to Canada. And guess what? 50% of them moved to Ontario. Can you imagine the amount of competition when it comes to jobs, when it comes to housing, when it comes to transportation, <laughs> living in Ontario? There's just so much of them. And the main thing that you have to consider is the amount of competition you will face during a PR or a permanent residency application. See, every single province have got their own allocation of PR seats or permanent residency seats. They're only allowed to uh, uh, approve so much PR within their province. If 50% of 621,000 students only last year moved to Ontario, can you, how do you compete with that? How, how, what do you have to do to be different? How do you find your luck in that? And that is one of the main considerations you have to think about you have to choose a province that is not too competitive and that a province that is absolutely friendly when it comes to international students toronto is ontario's biggest city in terms of population but outside of toronto there are many densely populated areas within ontario as well now being a populated province there are various uh, positives or benefits to it one thing for sure is multi-diversity the cultural diversity of the province the food scene is just rich there are more demand uh, to the various commodities and materials within the city or within the province and therefore the cost of these materials or goods can be less as compared to a province such as New Brunswick where in the, the population is less and therefore there are less people who demand for various goods. If there are less people who demand for food, less people who demand for uh, in construction materials, the cost of these materials and goods tend to be higher. If you are the type of person who chase professional growth and high financial compensation, then certainly Ontario is a place for you. You have to remember though that uh, although the financial benefits or the salary range in Ontario can be higher, the other cost or the cost of living can be higher as well. For example, the rent in Ontario for a one bedroom can hold you down for 
2,000 Canadian dollars a month. And here in New Brunswick, if you are uh, willing to pay 2,000 Canadian dollars a month, then that would already be a three bedroom apartment with a nice balcony, really. So that's the whole difference. But the financial compensation here is not as much as you would receive in Ontario. Now, having said this kind of rent, there are various factors that could affect rent. Of course, there are the community, the kind of building that uh, the, the, the apartment is into. But what I'm saying is that this is the average amount uh, or cost that uh, you would have to pay shall you live in the province of Ontario. I have mentioned many times on this uh, channel that I, uh, I used to live in Dubai, I lived in Dubai for a decade, and if I make the comparison between Dubai and Ontario, or say Toronto really specifically, and the other densely populated areas of Toronto, I would say that they are pretty much comparable. It's a, it's a very hectic lifestyle. Everybody's on traffic, everybody's driving, everybody's in a hurry, everybody's chasing money, everybody's chasing professional and financial growth. And this kind of lifestyle, I would say is it's not sustainable. It can get daunting. It can get very stressful. And I did reach that part when I used to live in Dubai. It, you have to hit rewind and revive yourself and, and relax. It's something that is absolutely not sustainable for long term. And this is absolutely the opposite here in New Brunswick. We do not have traffic here. If you sit in your car waiting for traffic light to go green for two minutes, then that's already traffic. There is no such thing. We do not waste time here. In Ontario, if you drive from one place to another, say it's a 30 kilometer drive, it will take you 45 minutes, one hour to reach from one place to another. Here in New Brunswick, if you drive from Moncton to St. John, which is about 160, 200 kilometers, it will take you an hour and a half, an hour, 45 minutes to drive all the way. And that's you reaching 200 kilometer distance. And there are no traffic in between. You just drive on peacefully. And the beauty of this is that you do not waste your time waiting on traffic. Time is, is, is absolutely important. And that because of this, there is less stress within the population of New Brunswick. And since Ontario is the most popular province here in the country, the demand for housing is high. Uh, the average or the median cost of housing in Ontario is $800,000. Many people who's lived in Ontario all their lives are still renting because they could not afford to buy a house. Imagine putting up a down payment of 20% for the $800,000 worth of house and then thinking about the mortgage and the interest that you have to pay on a monthly basis. Those costs can really add up and can cause so much stress. Here in New Brunswick, if you had $250,000, you will find a nice house or even a, a semi-detached that you can live in and that would already be the cost of your entire house <laughs> that's how cheap it is here as compared to ontario and if you are thinking of moving uh to canada thinking uh not sure which province to go to which school to go to or even you're not sure which program to take Connect with me, info at questcanadaca.com or you are absolutely welcome to visit my website, questcanadaca.com and you will find a lot of free downloadable information there. Hopefully, those are able to help you make a decision. If not, then send me an email and I'm happy to chat. One main important factor to consider or to talk about are jobs. If we talk about jobs, it goes without saying that Ontario certainly have got more jobs than we have here in New Brunswick. Point stop, that's it, and that is a fact. But the thing is, we have to put this into perspective. The question is, if there is one job opening, how much is the competition that you will face 
within that one job opening how many people will apply on that one job opening if you apply in ontario and if you applied in new brunswick if you did apply in ontario you will be competing with hundreds of people who are highly skilled highly educated highly professional and highly experienced and that is absolutely a tough market in New Brunswick, if you go to indeed.com or even glassdoor.com and search for a sales job, for example, you will find that there are jobs that had been sitting there for over 30 days because there is no qualified person, either no qualified person suited for the job or there are not enough applicants uh, applying for that job. And this is putting everything into perspective yes we do not have as much job opportunities in terms of numbers as compared to ontario but think about competition how are you able to compete better there is one story i want to share with you i have a colleague uh, who lived in ontario for 23 years 23 years and he decided to move to new brunswick um, during the covid season what he told me over and over again is that within those 23 years he never had the opportunity or the financial capability to buy a house he was always busy working and even then he was always chasing his tail to provide for his family to pay rent to buy food and everything else in between he earned twice as much in ontario than he does here in new brunswick but the cost of living was three times as much with him in uh, Ontario and as a result he could not be financially stable he moved uh, his family himself and his family to New Brunswick and within three months he was able to buy a house and that is just one of the reasons one uh, another reason that he decided to move to New Brunswick is to create opportunities for his children he's got three children the thing is that in ontario he felt that he could not get ahead in life he could he was just chasing his tail again to pay the bills he could not afford the house and he did not want to have his children to have the same uh, faith uh, in terms of uh, living and lifestyle and uh, life in general that's when he decided that life should be better for his children and therefore the move to New Brunswick. He is happy here. He has got less stress. He doesn't spend hours upon hours of driving because of traffic. He has more time for his family and he is happy. The family is happy as well. Now I'm not saying that New Brunswick is God's promised land. This is absolutely not the case. Every single place on earth and certainly every single uh, province city here uh, in uh, Canada has got its pros and its cons I can only imagine that many people from New Brunswick will uh, will provide negative feedback or comments on this video and that's okay everybody is entitled to their own uh, opinion what I'm trying to say is that New Brunswick could be a place of opportunities for anyone for anyone who is willing to work, put in time, and put in effort.